Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's going on, Miguel? How you doing? Hello, Melissa. Can you hear me? Hello, Maida. How are you? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, how you doing, Miguel? Uh, uh, everything is good, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, good, good. Let's go ahead and get started because we need to uh, go ahead and finish. We need to finish the last section, which is unit five. And we also need to finish the final exam. Uh, for the first okay. activity, we're going to be looking at this section over here which is section number 5.9, section number 5.9. And we're gonna be looking at this section right here. Uh, look at the following message clips and choose the best option. The first one says, one, hmm, tell could, what is the correct answer? What is um, the correct answer? The second one. The second one, could you tell Joel that is the movie at seven? Yes. Mm. Are you sure? Yes. Sorry. Could you tell Joel the movie is seven? Could you tell Joel that is the movie at seven? That's kind of weird. Okay. All right. Number three. Number three. Let me have another, another volunteer. Number three. One more volunteer. Number three. Another volunteer, number three. Two or three, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, Melissa, number two. Just like the real. Sorry. Okay. I'm tired. I had a long day. Number two, Melissa. Yeah. Would you skate, meet to buy, pick me up at home around for? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Everybody listen and repeat. Would you ask Mitch? Would you ask Mitch? To pick me up. To pick me up. At home. At home. Around four. Around four. All right, number three, another volunteer, number three, another volunteer, number three. Um, it's please, the, the first one. Okay, read the sentence. Please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Very good, excellent pronunciation. Everybody listen and repeat. Please tell Eva. Please tell Please Eva, Eva. The concert on Saturday. The, the concert, concert on, on Saturday, Saturday. Is canceled. It is canceled. canceled. Excellent. Number four. Me, teacher. Adriana. Uh, would you ask? Jim to bring to ticker and for your honky game tonight. Very good. Hockey game tonight. Everybody listen and repeat. Would you ask Jim? Would, would you, you ask, ask Jim, Jim to bring the tickets to bring, bring the ticket for the hockey game? For the hockey, hockey game. game. Tonight. Tonight. Okay, good, good. 
And number five. Me, teacher. All right, Catherine, number five, Catherine. Will you turn on the music opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Very good. Listen and repeat. Would you tell Anne? Will you, you tell, tell Anne? The museum opens. The museum opens. At 10. At 10. 10. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Perfect. Any questions in regards to this? Activity questions in regards to this activity. Not for me. Nobody. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to see lesson 10 summarizing and recognizing <laughs> a point of view in the reading. Let me have one volunteer, please read for me the first section. Read for me the first section, one volunteer. I can't teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what do you do in situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends and a nice restaurant. You are having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problem he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh, repeat okay. after me. Buses. 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 Okay, good. Good. Thank you. Okay, the next person, another volunteer. I, I can't. I can't. Okay, Miguel, I want you to read <clears throat> where it says this part over here. Okay. Action. Many people find cell phones useful in, day, in their day-to-day -day life. But we've all sat next to someone talking to Lori on a cell phone. You may, you may want to tell the loud, loud mouth to end, to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Excellent. Good job. All right. Another volunteer to read this section right here. Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Of means of respect the rules of restaurant and other public place. If a thing says store of cell phones, don't use your phone. Get private conversation, private speak softly and for a short time. Try to move away from other people. Excellent, excellent. Uh, repeat please, private. 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 Public. Private. Public. 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 Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me have another volunteer to read this section over here. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. Okay. Lives off, phone off. Never there, they call in a theater or at the movies. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while dry, drive, driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. 
as more people use cell phones. Right. No, 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 no. Stop right there. Thank you. Thank you, Cesar. Okay, Excellent. Okay, okay. Uh, another volunteer to read the last part. Another volunteer to read the last part. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Mayra. Yes. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. All right, repeat, ready, ready. 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 Es una R un poco suavecita. Ready. Ready. Okay. All right. That's it, right? Cell phone etiquette. Now, what we're going to do is check the statements the writer probably agree with. Number one, you should never use a cell phone in public. Agree or disagree? Disagree. Disagree. Cell phone users are very rude people. Agree or disagree? Disagree. Disagree. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Agree. 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 You should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. Disagree. 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 It's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. Disagree. You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Agree. Agree. Don't shout into the phone. Agree. Don't stand close to other people when you are using a cell phone. Agree. Agree. Boom, we got it. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, now what I would like for us to do is we're gonna jump into the final exam because I want everybody to have it finished. Uh, in the previous class, we looked at section one, section two, and section three. So right now I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so that you can work with a partner and try to uh, finish the final exam. I'm going to give you time to help each other and then we are going to check it. Okay. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Teacher, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Uh, you're going to finish section number D in the final exam. Okay. I am finished. All right. Finished. Okay. Help uh, Catherine. Okay. Uh, I am finished. Babe. Finish. All right. Okay. Just practice the pronunciation. Okay, teacher. And the big, the big island, Iceland. Mm 
Yes, yes, teacher. That is correct. Hi, Nerling. Hello, Nerling. Hello, teacher. Hello. I start work at six. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Listen to two telephone. Yeah, pasa mal siguiente. Uh, we finish. <laughs> si quiere le damos una lectura al último artículo, solo para repasar. Hola, teacher. Hey, Good what's night. going on? Good evening. How are you? We're checking the uh, final exam. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Please, uh, letter D. Letter D. Number one, letter D. <laughs> letter D. Number one, letter D. 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 Letter D.
Walt. Very good. Would. What would you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. Woo! Kentucky fried chicken. Number two. Number two. What kind of potatoes would you like? Aisle. Oh. Aisle. Have the mashed potatoes. Perfect. Number three, anything to drink? Yes, please. I. I'd, I'd like some water. I'd like some water. Number four, anything else? No, that's good. That would be all. The next one, which city is? More crowded. More crowded. Buenos Aires or Lima? Number two, is Disney World? The most famous. The most, the most famous. Most famous amusement park in the world. Number three, the what world. is? The longest. The longest yes. river in the world. The Amazon or the Nube or Nile. All right, perfect. Did everybody finish section E? Uh, yes. Okay, let's check. The test on Thursday is at 1. Can the on Thursday is the test on Thursday is at one p.m. Please tell can the test on Thursday is okay. The test on Thursday is at one p.m. Please tell Ken. Please tell Ken. Meet me after class. Yes. Okay. Did everybody finish this activity already? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Read the first one for me, uh, Cesar. Read the first one for me, Cesar. Read the first one. Cesar, can you hear me? Okay, Cesar has microphone issues. Lisbeth, read the first one. Okay. Eh, la pregunta y la respuesta. Yes. Oh. Solo había una forma de saber si las había puesto bien. Sonría. The number two. No, number one. Ah, okay. The test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell. Can the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Perfect. Maida Patricia, number two. Okay. Meet me after class today. Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? Perfect. Miguel Portillo, number three. Mm, there's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell Marcus there's a volleyball game tonight? Perfect. Cesar, number four. Number four, come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask Paula to come to the picnic. 
Excellent. All right. Good job. And we're going to look at the last one, and we are done with section. Read the article. Let me have Ricardo read for me. Ricardo, read for me the big island, this section right here. Everyone knows that Hawaii is, is a beautiful, robust group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, but did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island? the biggest island in the state. Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. The big island, very good. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? It is kind of confusing. All right, let me have uh, Nerling. Nerling, read. This section. Let us part, teacher. Please. Okay. Or please. Okay. The, the, the weather on the big island is very interesting. Island or island? Island. No, island. La, la S no se pronuncia. No se pronuncia. Okay. Sería island. Isle, okay. Isle island is very island. Okay, I starting steam. It has the numbers se pronuncian as ten, right? Correct. Ten. It has ten. It has ten of the fifteen. 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 15. Key. Okay, fifteen no. key. Kings. Kinds. Kinds. 15 kinds. 15 kinds. Kinds. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, bueno. Clim climate in uh, the world. No, that would be cli climate. 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 Climate in the world. I um I could be I could be tropical uh, research mountain and helping sometimes in heaving hit snow now on top of hit two begins volcanoes. I'm sorry, teacher. Tengo mala pronunciación ahí. Let's see. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it's in a snow top. It's two bigger, biggest volcanoes. Okay. Remember, this is all about repetition and practice. Let me have Lisbeth, the next paragraph. Okay, gladly. Um, on the west side of the is. Iceland. Island. The weather. Iceland. Uh, the weather is sunny. La S, la S no la pronunciamos. Sería island. 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 Uh. In Sonic y aquí Ka Kailua. Así. Kailua no. Kona. Yo creo que ese es como un lenguaje indígena de ellos allí en en Hawaii. Uh, is almost perfect. It gets up at it gets up to about uh, eight eighty eighty. ¿Cómo se leería grados? Ahí sería eighty degrees Fahrenheit. Eighty, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. In the winter, in 87 degrees Fahrenheit, in the summer, 80, 87 it, degrees Fahrenheit. 
87 degrees Fahrenheit. In the summer, it only goes down to 64, 80 Fahrenheit. No, ¿cómo? Degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. If the weighted and 69 is the Fahrenheit in the summer, the koala area in the north is the driest part of the East Island with only about 10 inches of rain a year. Excellent. Excellent. All right, David Alonso, please continue and finish the last section. Okay, teacher. On the east side, Hilo gets around 140 inches of rain per year. Is the west city in the United States. All that rain makes for some amazing waterfalls near Hilo. Water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving, <laughs> and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the big island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. Excellent. Excellent. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of the words? Ahí donde dice inches, que, que se, así se pronuncia hoy. ¿Y qué quiere decir? In, inches. Inches, pulgadas. Inches. Ten inches, 10 pulgadas de lluvia, 10 inches of rain. Teacher, Hi. Uh, what, what is the meaning of fishing year round? Uh, fishing year round, que se puede pescar todo el año. No es como por temporadas, sino que todo el año es wonderful fishing. Puedes pescar, la pesca está buena. Todo el año. Okay, thank you. What yeah. is scuba teacher? Scuba. Uh -huh. Scuba. Bucear. Yeah. Bucear. Okay. Uh, Thanks. When you have a machine in your mouth and you go in the water. Scuba. Another question? The pronunciation about climatis. Which one? The pronunciation. Climatis. Climate. Oh, climates. 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 Okay, good. All right, Thanks. let's check. Thank you. Let's check it out. Um, what is Hawaii? A city, a state, an island, a state, and an island. He stayed in an island. Perfect. 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 What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic, tropical, Arctic. mountain. Arctic. 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 How hot does it get in Kailua, Kona in the winter? It is. 80. 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Where does it rain the most? In the north, in the in south, in the east, or in the west? In the east. In the east is where it rains the most. Excellent. Good job. Okay, guys, we are finished with the final exam. I am going to go ahead and take the attendance right now. So when I call your name, please say present. 
Andriana Gressel. Present. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Good. Carlos William. Carlos William. Perhaps. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Excellent. Cristian Oswaldo. Cristian Oswaldo. Absent. Okay. Claudia Jocelyn. Claudia Jocelyn. All right. David Alonso. David Alonso. Present. Excellent. Freddy Jose. Freddy Jose. Absent. Glendy Elisette. Present. Okay. Iris Janet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Irving Iroki. Present, teacher. Good. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Josue Miguel. Present. All right. Carla Tatiana. Carla Tatiana. Absent. Okay. Catherine Jasmine. Present, teacher. Excellent. Lisbeth Martinez. Hi, present. All right. Luisa Ariana. Present. Thank you. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Absent. Mayra Patricia. Present. Excellent. Melissa Guadalupe. Present teacher. Very good. Nerlin. Present teacher. Good job. Ricardo. Present teacher. Excellent. Yancy Yamilet. Absent. Correct. All right. Now, since we are already finished with the with the units. We are going to be looking at travel, travel. The topic that we were discussing uh, was referring to uh, another country, right? Hawaii, uh, Costa Rica. What's a country that you like? I like USA. USA, why? Yeah, I like Canadian. Canada, okay, nice. Okay. Norway. Norway, New Zealand. Okay. Sounds interesting. So we're going to be looking at questions related to travel. Uh, I shared the questions right now with you in the WhatsApp chat and I'm going to share them with you here. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, please. One volunteer. Can I have one volunteer? Anybody, anybody. Question, uh, and you? Yes. 
You're going to ask me the question. Okay. When do you like the travel other country? Uh, no, you have to select a question from the list. Have you ever been abroad? Where have you been? Are you planning on going anywhere for your next vacation? If so, where? Who with? One of the questions from the list. In the future. No, no, no. Eh, yo acabo de compartir unas preguntas en el WhatsApp chat y en el chat del Zoom meeting. ¿Se puede elegir de esas preguntas? Ok, David. Thank you, David. Um, are you afraid of going abroad alone? Yes. I mean, you, you know, you see so many things on TV about tourists uh, alone and disappear. You know, so uh, me personally, I, I don't want to travel alone abroad. I'll, I'll travel with friends or a big group, students, teachers, uh, but not alone, not really. I don't want to disappear. <laughs> okay, another end. Describe the most interesting person you met on one of your travels. Uh on one of my travels, uh, I met uh, a guy. He was from Norway. Okay. So he was like very, very tall, white skin, blue eyes, white hair. And his English was very strange. It wasn't like American English. It was a, a weird type of English. Okay. Um, could you live in another country for the rest of your life? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I can't. I love El Salvador. Uh, I love the weather, I love the food, uh, the people, the places. I don't think, I mean, Madrid is nice, Spain is nice, but it's not my culture. Uh, El Salvador is a unique culture to me. So I, I don't think that, maybe visit, but not to live. Okay, I imagine that you have traveled a lot. So I have traveled, I have traveled a lot. I have traveled to the United States, Canada, Mexico, USA, Afghanistan. So the next question is, what was your best trip? I think that my best trip was when I went to Canada. I went to Toronto, Canada. I was there for one week and I was amazed that Canada is so safe. It's, it's so quiet. It's so clean. It's like the United States, but safe, quiet, no violence, no noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you have big streets, big uh, buildings big highways and interstates and freeways, but it's a different environment. People are calm. Uh, I don't know, the, the lifestyle in Canada is, is the most, I think it's the best, honestly. The government, oh, okay. the government helps a lot the Canadian people. Interesting. So the opposite. What was your worst trip? My 
worst trip in my life was when I went to San Padre Island. It's in between Mexico and Texas. And I lost all my luggage. I had a camera, a camcorder camera. I lost it. I had a Walkman, a nice Walkman, lost it. Shoes, clothes, lost everything. <laughs> Yeah, I had to return to the United States with my military pass because I didn't have a passport. I didn't have ID, nothing, nothing. Okay, that's good enough. Thank you, David. All right, so this is going to be the topic, guys. We're going to be asking and responding asking and responding to the questions related to travel are you ready let's do this Hi guys, do you want to practice? Hi. Good, good evening. Um, ¿Cuál será la dinámica? ¿Contestamos una por una o vamos alternando? Cualquier, cualquier pregunta que desee. ¿Pero la contestamos cada quien o, o una pregunta directa a alguno del grupo? Uh, ok, turnémonos y le preguntamos a quien nosotros queramos, por ejemplo. Bueno, ¿quién empieza? Mm, um, okay, um, voy a comenzar. Uh, usted, Mayra. Sí. Uh, I'm going to ask. Have you ever been abroad? Mm, yes. That... Yes. Um, Where have you been? I was... Uh, in the United States, United States, in Maryland, and Texas, Dallas, Texas. For a few time, short time, I'm sorry. Okay. Ask me one question. Um, are you planning on going anywhere for next vacation? Yes, actually, I am. I am planning to um, to travel and uh, not abroad, but in, inside the country. I would like to know uh, um, to visit some places that I've never been before. As for example, in La Unión, there's a place called um, uh, Espíritu de la Montaña. It's it's a Panchagua. Yes, yes. I have never been there, and I, I love camping. the pictures. 
is very, very beautiful. Sí, eh, I... sí, camping, very people in this place. Yeah, yeah it's very popular, I can say. But expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> because you have to use, you have to use one pickup uh, to go uh, to the place from the city. Interesting. But I think that it worth vale la pena. <laughs> so I would like to go there. Puede seguir Miguel. Uh, yes. Wait. Ask one question to anyone. Mm. Uh, wait. No. Could you live in other country for the rest of your life? Yes. Uh, Where? Norway. I I love that country. It. I love the the views, um, the the weather, um, the culture, and, and well, to all all con um, the country for me it's beautiful. I I I I watch watched in a lot of videos about that country. And it's very, very, very uh, cool. <laughs> and that's it. I love Norway. Yeah. I love Dinascape. It's beautiful. Yes. But it's, it's very cool. Yes. I, I love the cool. But uh, right now. Too, but it's. Eh, no no lo soportaría no sé cómo se dice en inglés pero no lo soporto un frío tan I can no lo soportaría I, creo que es I can support no uh, I couldn't take it ah ok but yeah. entonces uh, si gusta le pregu hace pregunta a Iris ok ok Iris <clears throat> Mm. Anyway. Do you like to travel with children? Why or why not? Is the could you live in another country for the rest of the life? <laughs> Okay. Sí, como con el Zoom jala más, más carga. Sí, ya desconecté el, el, el ventilador porque mejor ha conectado el cargador. Se va a apagar. Ok. Yesterday, did your class in high school go on a trip together? Su clase en la escuela o la secundaria, dice. En bachillerato, ¿verdad? High school. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go on a trip. Como que viajan juntos. Oh, ajá, como que plan, como que planeó viaje juntos con alguno de esos. Con los alumnos, ¿no? Clase de high school. Uh -huh. Algún viaje juntos. Eh, su clase de la escuela de la secundaria planeó un viaje juntos. Si es así, ¿a dónde fuiste? ¿Cuánto tiempo te quedaste? ¿Cómo llegaste allí? ¿Tienes carnet de conducir? ¿Te gusta viajar con niños? ¿Por qué o por qué no? ¿Te gusta viajar con tu madre? ¿Por qué o por qué no? ¿Prefieres vacaciones de verano o vacaciones de invierno? ¿Prefieres viajar solo o en grupo? 
porque prefiere viajar en tren, autobús, avión o barco, prefiere viajar en coche o a ver, by plane, dijo usted. Uh -huh. Creo que ya repasamos, ¿verdad? Pero los compañeros no practicaron. Y ya, entonces salió uno. Andrea está ahí. Si gusta, practicamos. Ya quedan como un par de minutos. Ahí se mira, eh, ahí se mira en la computadora, que en el teléfono no se ve. Ok, Andrea, have you ever been a bro? Have you been a bro? Me dijo que, que si alguna vez ha estado. En el extranjero. A bro, extranjero. A bro, ok. Dice Andrea que, que, que le, se le dificulta escuchar, dice. Ah, ok. Más que esto, gran desorden, my, my children. Very noisy. O pregúntele usted a ella, tal vez así. Ok, ya los últimos. All right, guys. Let me have Nerlin and Hiroki. Nerlin and Iroki. Iroki asked the question, Nerlin respond. Okay, let me have Cesar and Ricardo. Another question, teacher? Yes. Easy, eh, Ricardo. Do you have a driver license? Do you have a driver's license? All right, I think that he's not there. Let me have Miguel Portillo. Yes, I have. All right. Yes, I have. Uh, the question is Do you have? So it should be, yes, I do. Yes, yes sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, go ahead, Miguel, ask the question, Cesar, respond. Okay, okay. wait. Um, uh, are you afraid of going abroad alone? I am, I am not afraid, alone. Really? You would go alone? No, not me, not me. Maybe where? I don't know, I would be scared. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop right here. Remember that today is the last day, so we are finishing today, but don't leave the WhatsApp group because in the WhatsApp group, we are going to give you the start for the next 
match ball. Eh, quiero que me den, digan cómo se han sentido en este módulo, sienten que han aprendido. Eh, quiero que me den su reloj, re, retroalimentación. En español, yes. en español, en español. For me, I'm learning more. Okay. Sí, teacher, muy interesante la, la metodología que, aunque se nos trabe la lengua, no, nos hace que hablemos. Y, y esa es la idea, quitarnos el miedo, aunque nos equivoquemos, pero así vamos corrigiendo. That's Muchas right. gracias. Thank you. Thank you, César. ¿Somebody else? David. Yo en lo personal, yo en lo personal eh, he sentido que ha habido muchísimo material para, para que practicar y he aprendido bastante vocabulario y, y, y pronunciación al, de igual manera eh, gramática igual eh, yo de la plataforma todos los videos yo lo anoto en un cuaderno y, y ahí lo tengo yo anotado de sí. manera de que ya después al terminar el curso eh, yo lo paso eh, practicando todo lo que tengo copiado porque eh, aunque uno tenga un cierto nivel de inglés, siempre necesita retroalimentarse. Y por eso es que yo tomo eh, anotaciones en mi cuaderno y, y sí, me gustó bastante este nivel. Eh, me sentí fue muy, muy arduo y mm -hmm. eh, muy productivo. Me gustó bastante. Right. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. ¿Somebody else? ¿Somebody else? Solo quiero agradecer por todo, coach. Gracias, Andrea. Mucho gusto. Bueno, guys, ha sido un placer para mí trabajar con ustedes en este módulo. Eh, les quiero que sepan que tienen un amigo. Si ustedes todos tienen mi WhatsApp, si más adelante usted tiene alguna consulta o alguna duda y usted quisiera que yo le, le explicara, usted con mucho gusto tiene la puerta abierta. Me dice, teacher, yo fui su alumno. En este módulo voy a una entrevista en Teleperformance, que me recomienda o whatever, yo le puedo apoyar, yo lo voy a hacer. Ha sido un gusto y me despido con mucho cariño. Gracias, Bye, coach. En lo personal sí aprendí mucho. Gracias, guys. Gracias, Gracias. teacher, por todo. Gracias. Gracias, Gracias. teacher. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Teacher, Bye. Eh, sí, yo soy Michael en WhatsApp. Okay. Me pongo, Muchas me pongo, gracias. me pongo, soy, mi nombre es Rubén Santos, pero me pongo Michael porque durante el día yo compro y vendo casas en los Estados Unidos. So la gente, cuando les digo Rubén, they're like, where are you from? Pero si les digo Michael King, hablan conmigo como que si soy Michael Jackson or whatever, you know? <laughs> so, oh, es yeah. más que nada es un nombre de mercadeo. <laughs> It's a marketing name. Okay. Yeah. Okay, muchas gracias, un gusto, coach. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, gracias. Gracias.